What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We are still doing our mod pack. I actually added some mods to the mod pack. And somebody said add May, and yeah, I'm, I'm totally down to add May. I just don't want to crowd the character wheel too much. The thing is, okay, this is to hush. The thing is, we can add and delete characters kind of as we go. I'm, I'm pretty much going to do that with, you know, mods, period. Like, I, I like the idea of having a collection and a mod pack, but that doesn't mean it's cemented in to be that forever, you know? Just because we add a mod doesn't mean it's going to be in there forever. A lot of them are just, I'm just going to test. I actually added some mods uh, from the workshop today. And not many, maybe two or three. Honestly, I kind of forget what they were. I did it before. Uh, like before I started recording, not like directly before, but like a little bit before. So I kind of forget. So we have three tenant rocks right off the bat. And obviously we take the pill uh, as soon as possible because it is a speed up, which makes Maggie a little bit more easy to swallow because uh, the starting speed is just so brutal. Uh, but I know one of the things I did add was something called, like, the battery trinket. It's like a leaky battery or something. We're definitely going to take Crystal Ball here. We'll pop it early. Get some complete mapping and a soul heart uh, to protect ourselves. We do have two bombs, so we can access two of the three of the, the tinted rocks out there. Um, but, yeah, it's called, like, the leaky battery. I think it has a chance to drop. It has, like, a one in six chance to drop a battery. It also, it, or maybe less, but it also has a chance to drain your active item. I don't know. It was a double-sided coin type of type of item, and I always like that. I like items that are, can be good and can be bad, you know, kind of RNG-based. Anything RNG-based, I'm usually a fan of, even if it doesn't go my way sometimes. I just think it adds more interest to the game and, uh, yeah, so on and so forth. But I'm glad you guys like kind of where the mod pack is heading. And I like doing something a little bit different than just Vanilla Isaac. Again, I'm not going to go too crazy with the mods. We're not going to go overboard. And I'm definitely not going to be adding any mods that doesn't feel like Isaac. Um, but yeah. It's going good. Going good. All right. So we can use another bomb for the secret room here. I'm going to go back for this red heart just because it's here. And it's just lazy to not go back for it. We'll check the secret room and the golden bombs, which is like, you know, two bombs too late, but it is what it is. Uh, we can also go to the shop, but we only have six cents and we only have one key, which isn't great. I could also do this, considering I have golden bombs, and we can try to find a trapdoor, if possible. No, nothing. I mean... Usually this early in on the game, you could find a trapdoor relatively easy. And with the balance room tweak, I think it's worthwhile checking. Plus, it's not costing us anything except time. And here's the thing. I'm assuming the hush ending, the uh, run destination for hush, I'm assuming it's like boss rush. Like, we don't actually have to make hush in 30 minutes. We just have to kill hush. Uh, like, they're going to give us the hush door no matter what. It's just us being able to kill hush or not, which is actually really nice. Uh, I wasn't sure how I felt about it last episode with the boss rush allowing us to get in there after 20 minutes. But I think I like it a lot because some runs just aren't ready to do those certain endings. And I like that you could take your time with it because even if you take your time with it, some runs are just not meant to fight Hush or some runs are just not meant to fight boss rush. This is how it is. All right, we're blowing up everything in sight and have yet to find a trap door, which is a little surprising. Maybe it's in here? No. No rocks. No rocks. There's got to be, like, another room with rocks. Uh, just poops. I don't know if that's going to get both of them. It did. All right, we should shoot these. We might as well do our due diligence. We kind of need to do our due diligence. We have to build this run up enough to kill Hush. And like I said, we're just kind of not going to pay attention to time. I know normally you have to make it under 30 minutes. Seriously? Bruh. I mean, I guess it technically could be in the boss fight, but it's not going to be. Ah, that was really risky to shoot him as he was charging. You have that slight knockback on your tears just enough to uh, get you in a bad situation. Okay, I mean, we have golden bombs, so we might as well use them. All right. 
That's a pony. It's not really what we're looking for. I mean, flight is nice, but crystal ball, I think, is a little too nice to pass up. Uh, we are going to go to the shop. Deliberate, deliberated it in my brain a little bit, but I decided yes, especially because we're going to be able to blow him up, get a nickel in return, and uh, yeah, we're just going to go. I'm actually not even going to buy a soul heart. I just, I 19 cents is good, and it's going to be, you know, make it more viable in the future for shops and stuff. Not exactly sure where the super seeker room is, but uh, we didn't find it. No luck. No luck on the trap door either, which is a bit of a bummer. Like I said, because of that mod, the better balancing mod, uh, trap doors and stuff are just a little bit more viable as well as seeker rooms. I think they balance them a little bit more. Uh, but I like how not drastic it is. I really do. I like how it's just a little bit like a subtle retweak. And it even says that. It even says that in the uh, mod name. It says like a... I think it says subtle subtle room balance tweak or something. Uh, so it's not too crazy, but it does, it, it wants, it makes me want to go to secret rooms a little bit more, which is always something that I loved anti-birth for. But all anti-birth did, which I thought was really, really smart, was add sausage. And sausage wasn't uh, all stats up, but you can only find it in a secret room pool. I thought that's all that the secret room pool needed for me to check for secret rooms often. That's literally it, was just the chance of an all stats up in there, which is kind of crazy, because that's all you really needed to do to balance them, but in my opinion, anyway. Not everybody shares the same sentiment. Some people think the secret rooms are worthwhile no matter what. Justice. All right, Justice, still got the chariot card. Pretty linear uh, floor here. We got Little Haunt, we'll just take Little Haunt. Nothing, nothing wrong with Little Haunt completely fine oh god i didn't kill that fly almost backed right into him though so we're probably gonna go to the shop but we're gonna go to the shop uh using our bombs instead of our keys look at little han over there what a guy get in there get in there bud oh that shot still got a bomb back from that and the tinted rock as you can see even something as interesting as just maybe a three cent card that's sometimes all it takes man that's sometimes all it takes for me to be interested in Seeker Rooms again. Uh, it's a really cool little add-on that they did with the Seeker Rooms. Just led those guys to the slaughter right there. We do have credit cards, so we should be able to, you know, either get the shop items for free or get the deal with the devil for free, right? Alright, another key and a couple of cents is totally good. Uh, we have a golden key, so I'm not going to waste a bomb. Let's check this out. Uh, oh, let's see if that... Oh, yeah, look. That guy's in animation now. I added that. Check out the guy with the with Little Haunt on him. When he shoots the ball... Shoot the ball, dude. Shoot the ball. Shoot the J. Shoot it. Shoot it. Oh, he did it. I'm sure you guys saw it. So, in Afterbirth Plus, they added that enemy, that jumping spider enemy, but they didn't do an animation. Oh, that was really bad. They didn't do an animation for the character or the enemy when he shoots the ball, that big ball. So somebody on the workshop, it's like one of the top items today, uh, added an animation for it. And it's a really nice animation and it really looks like it should be in the game. Uh, we're gonna do this, obviously. I'm going all the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to. If level four cube of meat is just way too good, man. Way too good. So we're going to pop this, and that's exactly what I wanted. And then we're going to be able to take this battery. And yes, I could have credit carded that, but now I need to credit card the, the deal with the devil. As long as, yes, we still have a 100% chance at the deal with the devil. And uh, yeah, I mean, level 4 Cuba meat this early is going to be amazing. And, you know, level 4 Cuba meat, I was obviously thinking of uh, Hush when I did that. Because he is going to be awesome against, against Hush if we could just stick him in there. Mm -hmm. Our tears right now need some desperate help. Let's get like torn photo, toothpicks, uh, memories, anything. Okay, pageant boy's not really what I was looking for, but I guess more money's not the worst thing ever. I'm actually going to pass on this because then maybe we can get a deal with the angel and that might be better for us going forward. Uh, headless baby, I, I probably could have got it for free with credit card, but... Again, I'm not super interested in, in Headless Baby. And then we would have built Deal with the Devil precedent. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just better to go Angel deals if we can. 
if we could swing it. Wow, that was really dicey. Oh, the, we, the champion hit us. It's like the last guy that could have hit us. Oh, it hit us again. Oh God, rip. Incoming rip. That was a really difficult room. Power pill. This is bad, dude. We might die? No, not like this. Oh my God. This champion is so real. Uh, yeah, we got very close to dying here. Um, not exactly thrilled about it. We don't have keys to access that. Um, okay, well, I mean, you know, getting to level four Cuban meat is looking pretty stupid right now, I must admit. Okay, thank you, Little Haunt, for fearing that guy away. Got a couple dips here. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. I mean, I would love to get some sort of health to make me feel a little bit more comfortable about what's going on. I just, our tiers are really bad. We have, like, Little Haunt, who is solid, and Super Meat Boy Level 4, who is really solid, but they both need to aggro to basically do anything. Um, all right. Just got to know what we're dealing with. Come on, get in there, bud. There you go. There you go. So we have a shop and an item room here, as long as we could just survive this. As long as we survive that little dip, uh, we should be okay. And yes, we are okay. All right. Uh, just make sure the mic is an offset, because that would be really sad. It's not, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Um, okay, yeah, we don't have a key, unfortunately. Really was hoping for... Okay. Was really hoping for a soul heart. There we go. Okay, we got a soul heart on the second battery. We can actually bomb our way into the shop. So let's do that. Really? Really? Am I going the wrong way? God damn, that was really bad. All right, let's see what that does. This guy. All right, let's get into the shop. We have 24 cents. Nothing really great. Nothing really great. I mean, we will buy this just so we can get into the item room and see what that's all about. Not great either. Uh, we could... It's going to be a bomb. We could um, buy a, a battery to try to get a soul heart out of the crystal ball. Not a soul heart, but a, a card nonetheless. Ace of hearts is not useful for us. All right, um, yeah, this isn't great at all. We're in a pretty bad situation. We have a heart and a half, uh, courtesy of Crystal Ball, though. Got us out of a really sticky situation. We also, I also added a new enemy, and it appears in the depths and past the depths. Basically, it's like an evil, evil guy that kind of floats around, and he actually heals enemies in the room. So he doesn't attack you, he just heals the other enemies in the room. He seems really cool. I don't know how well he works, you know, in in action type situation, but I mean, the video looked cool and people seem to like him. So I saw Edmund retweet him as well. And I thought that was cool because all enemies in this game, basically all of them do, all of them attack you. So this one's a little bit different in the in the fashion that he heals, he heals the other guys and doesn't attack you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Get in there. Get in there, Super Meat Boy. Stay stay with him. Stay with him, bud. Even though he's... This might hit us no matter what. Yeah, that's bullshit. Okay, that's bullshit. Not, not like this. He's gonna hit us again, though? There's, like, nothing we could do about it? <laughs> Except kill him before he could do it, I guess? All right, then. Um, well, I'm, I'm grateful to have the HP, I must say. Let's just get out of here. We have one room to do uh, a crystal ball charge here, and then we can get mapping on the caves, too. But, yeah, wow, that enemy was, was a little rough in that area. Look at Super Meat Boy go. The, the, the freaking chainsaw right here. Just chomping through him. Come on, where's the, where's the damn, I'm gonna do it. Uh, okay, piggy bank. Oh, I didn't mean to buy that, whoops. It's all right, no big deal. We could buy another charge if we want to try to get another soul heart. Might not be the worst idea. 
<laughs> oh my god, that was so dicey. Holy hell. Okay, all right, all right. Well, got out of that room. We definitely want to go back for our credit card. I guess if we're going deals with the angel, we should just use our credit card on uh, the freaking shop or something, but it's a little too late for that as I bought two things already and spent 10 cents. All right, let's shoot these black poops, try to speed up this freaking room a little bit. Okay. That's just this guy. Uh, we know where the item room is. Do this again for the soul heart chance, and we got it. That's good. It's real good. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Uh, again, yes, we might as well. Joker card. Joker's interesting because we have a 50% chance that, that the deal is going to be an angel deal. And we really want an angel deal right now. Uh, but we also kind of want the credit card going in there just in case, you know, it is a deal with the devil and we're able to swindle it for free. All right. Let's flip out of this. Flip out of this. D20 is not bad, but I like the crystal ball. Oh, thought eclipse by the moon. This is one of the items I added in the mod pack. I said it, I said it shoots out a brimstone, but that's obviously only if you have brimstone. But as you can see, man, it's a really cool item. I, I don't know. I think the design of it is beautiful. I think it fits in with Isaac. It's got like a Pink Floyd vibe, doesn't it? But yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I just think it looks really cool. I think the rainbow tears coming out the other end look really awesome. So we're going to use a bomb here because we're going to get a key for free. Ooh, grab that bomb before it slips over. Uh, arcade, nothing really doing. The only thing about thought is like sometimes you gotta you I mean you think too much about lining up the shot I think it's more just like you should think of it as a passive like you know shoot the way you need to shoot Don't really pay attention to it, but if it does line itself up take advantage of it, right? But I could see myself being like oh no, I can't shoot to the left here I got to aim to the right to try to get through the uh To try to get through the you know triangle, but no we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that I honestly thought 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 I honestly thought that this item was a uh, angel room item. So I'm a little surprised to see that it was just in an item room item. I really thought it was only angel room, but I guess I'm wrong. It seems to be tearing them apart a little bit, which is cool. I'm just happy to have it. I'm happy to have one of the new uh, modded items. You have to understand, I haven't added many mods, but the fact that we've seen, you know, water balloon and now thought is pretty good, man. Like, there's so many items in this game, so... Totally down with it. Why am I exploring? I don't really know, to be honest. What do we what do we want? Well, I guess we gotta go back for our card, right? That's like the main thing we're doing. Yeah, I got handcuffed there pretty bad. I don't know what my health's at, but it's definitely in a better position than it was coming down to this floor, but we have hemorrhaged some hits here. So we're gonna take. We're gonna take the credit card into the deal. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, into the into the boss room. And if it so happens to be a deal with the devil, we'll at least be prepared. And then, if it is a deal, we could take the Joker down to the next floor, considering we'd probably already use credit card. And if we didn't, we should try to force ourselves to use credit card. Uh, we'll do this, just in case. I mean, we did get a soul heart out of it, so kind of worth. Kind of worth. We do have a champion peep, though. I mean, I'm excited. Might be, it might have been the worst pill to get right there. Made him much more difficult than he normally is. I mean, we beat Hush with I'm excited, all right? So, oh, God. Oh, God, we might die, guys. Yeah, we might die. Yeah, this is probably it. This is probably all she wrote. Oh, God. It, it, well, we're going to get the Mega Maw here. No, it's not the Mega Maw. Oh, God. Holy hell. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I just bombed myself, I think. Like, it's so fast, Super Meat Boy can't even keep up. Jesus, how many hits can one man take? Dude, I might be at one soul heart, and the reason I'm at one soul heart is because this room dropped. Oh, my God. I don't want to use the... I didn't want to use it there, but I kind of had to. Credit card, Joker. I'll just take credit card. 
Oh, that was really bad. We got a tears up pill like going out of that room after taking so much damage. The I'm excited pill was horrendous, and I really hope it's not still intact for this boss fight. It very well could be, and it, it probably will be. We got to realize that there's a battery back here if we want to backtrack for it. We got to backtrack anyway, I think. Uh, I don't think I'm excited is, is on. But yeah, the um, Super Meat Boy being in there is great. The only thing about Thought is that it isn't a orbital. It doesn't do orbital damage, so we shouldn't get it confused with an orbital. There's I'm excited all of a sudden, out of nowhere. An HP up. Okay. So we have two red hearts. We know that. Okay, so since we know we have two red hearts and we didn't get a deal with the devil, we're going to just not take... We're gonna not take a uh, credit card. Well, we might, but we're gonna we're gonna Joker. We're gonna Joker. See what the deal is. It's still giving us a 50% chance to get a deal with the angel. So it's 50-50 right now as we pop the Joker. And it's a deal with the devil. But we know we could take Guppy's head. Do we want to keep Guppy's head over mapping and possible cards and soul hearts in the future? I think I'm gonna make a defensive and probably conservative decision here and just take uh, Crystal Ball, knowing that we touched the Guppy item, knowing that, you know, we'll have mapping going forward and chances at soul hearts and, and cards and useful things that Guppy's head can provide room clearing ability. Let's not get it twisted. And I love Guppy's head. You guys were probably triggered that I didn't do this earlier. And I apologize. You know, a free key is a free key. Let's, let's be real. Uh, also, we need to get that battery that I said that we needed to get, so let's not forget that. Get the battery and uh, get out of here. Get out of here with, you know, a charge on our crystal ball and credit card still. Tears up. That makes me feel a lot better about everything, and I'm very happy I came back for that. Might need to fill a red heart. No, we don't. We don't. I mean, we only have one red heart now that we gave away one for Guppy's head. But how cool is this freaking thought item, man? It's like balanced, right? It doesn't seem that powerful. It just seems more cool than anything. And like, for for instance, in that Gertie fight, you do kind of want to line it up as best as you can, but you also don't want to get too lost. Oh, here it is. Here's the guy that heals. Here's the guy that heals. He teleports around. The thing is, I think Super Meat Boy killed him. I think he's very squishy because I think he's powerful. Like he could he could really heal a room. Uh. Oh, he's appearing more. Uh, I wonder if he's every room. That would be way too much. Maybe. That was really bad. But I see a tinted rock down here. Oh, my God. Hell on earth. All right. Um, we know where the boss fight is. This is this is the only the Necro one. So we could check out the boss fight right off the bat. If we so desire, which I kind of desire... Especially with credit card in hand and a hundred percent chance to get a deal with the devil. Angel deal is escaping us yet again. I thought the 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 tweaks. This is not a good room for to have that guy that heals. Okay, so we killed him. We killed him before we started taking out the, these guys, and I think that's good. I think that's something you need to implant in your strategy if you're gonna have this guy around. I mean, sis vis, holy hell! I'm just like glad we have super meat boy level four, because. What was that? What just happened? I'm very confused at how I got hit there. But okay. Uh, it looks like they're glitched right now, which I'm totally okay with. We're in a pretty rough spot. So one is dead. Oh, he's mad though. He's mad though. All right. Okay, Roid Rage is definitely takeable. Can't use credit card here. And we got rotten or Bob's cursed head, whatever bombs. Soul heart, a tears up is great. A power pill is, you know, fine. Uh, we'll just take Bob's curse, get five extra bombs, make our bombs poisonous. And you know, you probably use credit card uh, to get free items from the shop if, if we want, if we want them. I don't know really what's in the shop, so I don't know. Might just be a greed fight. I mean, at this point, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just been it's been too long. We've been taking too long to use credit card, and I fear that 
it could be one of those instances where we just never use credit card and I don't I don't I don't want that man I want to be able to use it Emperor is nice Emperor is nice so now I'm, I'm even more happy that we use credit card to kind of be able to move on to new cards we got the fool and Emperor I mean we could fool you know after we fight or after we go into the curse room wow he appears often huh it's a little hard to tell what he exactly does. You guys are probably confused at what he does. But yes, he does heal the enemies. I think if, if we don't get him first, I think we would be able to tell that he's healing the enemies. But I'm, ha I'm happy that we can't tell because that means we're doing a good job. That means we're taking out the healer first, and that's what you want to do. Uh, we touch the book for the bookworm transformation, obviously. And we can actually get in here for free and out of here for free. Yeah, he was in here again, I believe. Center of the room. Soul heart, not bad. We don't really even need the full card. Lemon party, okay. I mean, we could use the full card because we're lazy, and we could use it to get back to the to the start after we get the item room and maybe the mini boss fight. Probably want to fight the mini boss. We have to remember, guys, we're doing hush here. The destination mod has selected our our destiny, if you will, and selected hush. So we're fighting hush, whether we like it or not. And we don't need to worry about the timer. I think we're still good on the timer. I'm pretty sure it has the same, same you know, mechanic to boss rush where you don't need to meet the certain time requirement. You just got to beat Hush, which I like. I've grown to like. And uh, I'm not going to take a uh, glass cannon. It's a little too risky. He spawned in a, in a mini boss fight, huh? All right. All right. I see you. All right, we have a crystal ball ready and a key for a free bomb. We'll do it. And we'll full card just because we're lazy. And then we'll be able to grab this emperor card and check the super seeker room and leave, right? And that's all. And we have a charge on our... Wow. If there was a spike up there, I definitely would have ran right into it. We have a charge on our crystal ball, which is good. And Roid Rage has helped our speed immensely. Got a couple runes here, so maybe we won't leave with the Emperor card. I mean, we also got to remember a Yara is not that intriguing, but a Perthro is, though. So we're just going to take this Perthro, and we're going to go all the way back down to the item room because it's Glass Cannon. It's something that we're not going to take anyway, so we might as well re-roll it. Who knows? Maybe there's another Perthro. We've got to go back that way anyway. It's not like we can carry two down here, so... Use it, and we're going to get 99 bombs, and I'm, I'm just going to take it. You know, there might be another Perthro, but... At this point, you know, having all these bombs is probably totally fine. Especially because they're poisonous bombs. You know, the Atlings have a little bit of a synergy going on with them. And we could build on that synergy now. And we'll be more influenced too because we have 99 of them. Uh, let's see what else is up here though. The gods is just poppable right now. Awaz is also poppable right now. Uh, no luck there. Another soul heart from Degas And another soul heart from Degas. Hold on to our Emperor card, and we can just leave this way. Okay. All right. We are in the Depths 2. The Dank Depths 2. Excuse me. Uh, that might be... Wait, what? It's Butterbean. All right. I mean, if we get a Per Throw or, or a 4 Dice Room, we could reroll. Which we did get a 4 Dice Room, which I'm actually thinking back on. Did we not use... Oh, wait. Watch. Watch. Oh, no. Super Meat Boy's going to kill him too fast. I was going to try to show you guys the animation. It's a greed head. It's not a spider. I mean, Super Meat Boy is carrying us right now, but we we did we did what we had to do to get him, man. We swallowed the uh, bullet and took took four red hearts of damage to, to get him, and I think it was worth it. All right, we uh. Have two Emperor cards. We can't really utilize one and utilize the other because if we Emperor card, we're going to be stuck in the mom fight. Just how it is. All right. Well, we got so many bombs that we might as well do this because you never know. We could get a black card or just a useful card. Ace of Diamonds. I can Ace of Diamonds that, get a penny out of it. And then we can, you know, obviously go back for the other Emperor card. Oh, watch, watch. You'll see it. Come on, bottom guy. Oh, he jumped on spikes. I love, by the way, those are like my favorite mods. Uh, 
that's why I get so excited when I see the spider guys. But those are legitimately like my favorite mods. Are mods that, because, you know, Afterbirth Plus is is great and all, but it definitely has a, a, some slight downfalls. And I think a lot of the downfalls are just like kind of laziness. I hate to say that, but it does feel like that on, in some instances. For instance, like that enemy, the fact that he doesn't have an animation when he spits out the, the little horn ball. It's just like, you know, why? So uh, mods like that, if you guys have any more mods like that or any more, uh, or if you know of any more mods like that, let me know in the comments, please. Cause I, I will definitely, definitely be all about that. I just, I like, I like the healing guy. He's, he is appearing a little too much for my taste, but I, I, I do like him. I just, cause I like the, the strategy of having to kill him first before you deal with the other enemies. I think that's cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I always think of the anti-birth purple enemies that, like, kind of buff, buff the enemies, so you can't kill them, really, until you kill the purple guys. I like that. I, I just think it adds a little strategy to each room, or not each room, but every so often, you know? Alright, let's check this out. Alright, we have, um... I mean, that would change our, our card into a pill, would it not? So let's not do that. But we are going to touch the Bible here because we already touched one book. So we're one book away from the bookworm transformation. We'll take the battery just because we don't really need to do anything else with our money. A lot going on here. There's a lot of champions. There was a healer in this room. Another healer. I don't know, man. Maybe he should appear often. I don't know. Let's check the super secret room and just a troll bomb because why not? So this world card isn't as useful as like an emperor card would be. I would like the emperor card for like maybe the, the womb or something. Uh, we're in a not great situation. I'm just going to say that. Like I'm ba I'm basically banking on our HP right now to get uh, HP and obviously super meat boy to get us through this hush fight because this hush fight is not shaping up to be that easy. I mean, we do have 93 bombs, so we could be very diligent with our bombs. But other than that, like our, our, our tears are not that good. Thought is, is fine. It's just, you know, it's not gonna be activated the whole time or anything. All right. I mean, I'm just full clearing at this point because we can. Oh, because it's not like we're up against the time. So we kind of want to do our due diligence and make sure that we are as powerful as we possibly can be going into the hush fight. Use bombs. Start getting used to using bombs offensively is really what it comes down to. I don't know how much more damage the thought rainbow tears do, but they do seem powerful. Okay, that's the tears down. Let's just wait, grab the emperor, and we'll check out the challenge room, and we'll do it because we don't need the keys for the chest, basically, is the reason why. We don't need the keys for the chest, so we might as well use the keys while we can. This this champion Mega Maul is like one of my least favorite in the game. I think he's super challenging for where he appears in the game, uh, but he is dead. All right, not so bad. We didn't really get that many great things out of these chests, though. It seemed like a couple coins and a couple bombs, which is not really what we need right now. But it's all right. It's all right. Um, some sort of special room there on the right we probably could just check out. Let's see what it's got to offer. It's a double locked room. Hopefully it's books. Oh, we, can't, we just burned all our keys. Derp. Derp. I mean, dry baby, definitely takeable. He was a little trip down to the womb right there. Not yet. I would now like to get two keys because now bookworm is on the table. We can maybe swindle that double locked room to give us a, a book. He said diamonds. Dry baby already popping off. All right. This room again. Check with that. Oh, two of them? 
They're really squishy, but they also teleport and uh, basically make it silly for you to fight anybody but them. So they're 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 good. Got to play with them probably more than once to, to, to kind of get a feel of them. But they do feel like they fit into Isaac, you know? They don't feel like such a sidestep. And I do like that they're in the depths. Uh, the depths and, and going forward, you know? Instead of being earlier on. Because I don't think they would fit. Okay, I'm just looking for keys right now, guys. And it doesn't seem like the game wants to give us any keys. But it's a bit of a rip. That's a bit of a rip. There's a battery. We can just pop this to see what kind of card we get. Stars card. Oh, the battery is not gettable. Whoops. I think there's another battery, though. I think there's another battery around. Who knows? Maybe this room will give us two keys. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Um, Yeah, that's gonna do it, then. That's gonna do it. We can't really activate that, that double-locked room, which is a bit of a bummer, because we might have missed out on, on Bookworm there. But we did get a battery, which is good. Good for the next floor, which we probably could just Emperor the Womb one. God, man, we are in a bad spot. <laughs> our tears are just so vanilla, man. Other than thought, our tears are so vanilla. We don't have, like, an orbital to speed this fight up. This fight is just taking a minute. I mean, we have Super Meat Boy level 4, but honestly, he's not that great against Mom because by the time he gets over to whatever part he's about to attack, especially, like, the foot or something... Do the animation. Oh, he did it! He did it! You saw his little teeth! Oh, I couldn't get out of the way. All right, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, I just took some un unneeded damage there. Okay, we did it. We did it, boys. We did it. Um, Soul Heart to go. We'll take one of these. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, we could either just map this and see how bad it is. It's bad. I know I just use my mapping and it's kind of silly, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. It's really far away, so. Hey, on the boss fight? What is this? I mean, bombs and super meat boy got us through that fight super quick. Part of my redundancy needed to be said though. I'm trying my thought here. I'm trying my thought. Oh, it blocks Brim! What was that? That was sick. That was sick. Okay, you might be saying, Jay, use that against Hush. Uh, well, I'm mapping for Womb 2. I'm sorry. It would only be, like, used once in Hush, so... It wouldn't be great. It wouldn't be great. So we're gonna try our uh, luck here by going down. Down and to the left is, is my intuition. I don't know for sure. We will know for sure sooner or later because we're going to get a charge on the crystal ball. And I held some uh, some willpower there to not take Krampus's head for the extra little bit of damage that we would do to Hush. Okay. Key. Couldn't have been more wrong. Could not have been more wrong. Why isn't Super Meat Boy attacking him? That was strange. Uh, but yeah, guys, hope you guys checked out the Tumble Seed series because that series, well, that game is incredible. Like, it's really, really good. Uh, I hope people give it a chance and really, you know, like, if, if not, check out my series, check out somebody else's series or play it yourself. Just give that game a chance, man. It is so fun. I think it just turns people off kind of initially because it seems so simple, but it's so not simple. It's so, like deep and and just innovative and just creative and just beautiful it's just so good so really if you haven't checked out the series definitely go check it out i posted episode one yesterday after my isaac i believe and uh yeah i highly suggest it all right so we can use this 
Okay, down into the left, my intuition wasn't completely right, but it was definitely... Oh, this is really bad. Okay, so you could see these enemies doing their thing right now. They're definitely healing these guys. I can't kill any of them. I'm getting kind of like sucked certain ways. We killed one healer, but I can't really leave this spot. He's teleporting so fast. Okay, well, they're starting to die. Maybe I did kill the healers. I kill. I know I killed one. Okay, I definitely killed the other. Yeah, but I was getting sucked. I, I There was creep around. I, could, I didn't have flight. That was a really difficult room. But that kind of shows the strength of... Uh, I'm taking some bad damage here. That shows the strength of the healers, guys. Like, right there in that in that room. Like, that was a really bad RNG layout for me. It just wasn't... Nothing Nothing was, you know, in my favor there. But it's cool. I like that. I like that. I like the challenging rooms. I, I A lot of the mods that I like to add are to add a little bit of a challenge to Isaac. And I, I'm excited to, like, kind of solidify the collection or mod pack, whatever you want to call it, to give to you guys so you guys could play it. And kind of see how you fare in it. Um, but yeah, definitely nothing wrong with a little bit of a challenge. Two power pills, tears down. Friends till the end. Alright, I guess we'll just take a power pill then. Come on, dude. I thought I was going to kill him before he shot again. Dude, my tears are so bad. Holy shit. We're gonna die, dude. We're not even gonna beat Hush. We've taken so much damage in the damn womb here. I just saw him get healed. I think Super Meat Boy level four is making the healers not as big of an annoyance as they can be. I could really see them becoming a very big annoyance. I think Dry Baby just cleared the room. Dry Baby MVP. That's what we need right there. Uh, we don't need mapping, so yeah, <laughs> definitely do it again. And there is a battery up here. We should be smart about our health right now. And the fact that we have crystal ball and the fact that it could give us soul hearts. So let's go back up for this battery because let's be smart about it. I mean, even if it's not a battery. Do we want power pill or the high priestess? I'll just take power pill because we, we do have the cube of meat, so it, it could be good. Um, but yeah, we need to, We need to utilize crystal ball as much as possible. It might it might even be smart to kind of check out all the other rooms to try to get a natural reroll on it, but also could be dumb considering we could uh, really, really hurt ourselves. So there's healers and spawners in this room. This room is is pretty nutty. Super Meat Boy, like, being by me isn't really where you want to be. Jesus, man. This is a wild room. This was a wild room. Oh, my God, and I get hit once coming out of it. All right. Well, then, um... Let's go fight it lives. That was weird. That I think they delayed the, the spawning of the eyeballs there. If I'm not mistaken. Super Meat Boy, you're, you're killing me, dog. You're killing me. Thank you. Good job, Dry Baby. Good job, Dry Baby. There you go. Little Haunt and Super Meat Boy in there. Some thought shots hitting them. Dry Baby again. I got hit. All right. Um, yeah. Let's just do it, I guess. We do have 65 cents, so the shop should be viable. We only have four keys, but I mean, that's good enough to access what we need to access. It's Curse of the Unknown, god damn it. Uh, Doctor's Remote is, is quite trash. I guess we'll take it. Crystal Ball is basically useless for us right now, unless there's a battery in the shop. Leech is not very good at all. There is a Tinted Rock, though. Please be Soul Heart. We've got our bomb back. And we'll go into the shop. 
we don't know what this is, but we'll buy it. Tier detonator, again, not so great at all. Uh, we'll buy this, and then we'll come back here and grab our crystal ball and buy the battery. Is there another tinted rock in here? No, it doesn't seem to be. We did get a soul heart out of it, which is good. Blow him up. See what this is? Health up, which is semi-interesting. Lover's card will get us there. Uh, we'll take, again, Doctor... Not Tier... We'll take Doctor's Remote so we can get a Air Strike. At least one Air Strike. Fate's Reward, which is just the blue guy. He's going to shoot another extra tier. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is really, really sketch. Is there a key in here? There is. This is really sketch, dudes. Head of the Keeper. Now we got Penny Tears. Okay, interesting, interesting. We could try to find a trap door. Sometimes there's trap doors in here. Just because the floor is so small, there's like a good chance that there's a trap door. Plus, we have so many bombs, it's not going to matter. We'll try the other side as well while we're here. Might as well try to take every advantage we can. That's all right. At least we tried. At least we tried. All right, here we go. Here we go. Gonna fight Hush. Um, okay. <laughs> all right, healer. We get it. We get it. You could show up anywhere. I took an early hit there. I'm not proud of. We did get a soul heart drop, though. I'm not entirely sure why. And damn, those pennies look cool. Those pennies look real cool coming out of thought. Look at that. Dude, that's sick. I mean, Super Meat Boy is going to carry us here. There's no question about it. There's no way around it. Our, my tiers are 4.8 damage. My tier rate is like trash. My shot speed isn't good. My tiers are very close to vanilla. Uh, it's it's not great. It's not great. But, you know, we got Super Meat Boy level 4. That's all. Oh, my God, Jay. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me, Jay? What are you doing to me? So we could basically try to get as many thought shots in there as possible. If we kind of utilize it the right way. I mean, we got to we gotta wait for the comeback already. It cycles you pretty quick. If you're a second late on the, on the roll. I mean, we could just use it now. Come on, Thought. Come on, Thought. Be the hero. Be the hero we want to see in the Isaac world. A lot of pennies here. A lot of pennies. Too bad we don't have money equals power or something of the sort. Even, like, pay to win would be really good right now. This is, like, where the issue is going to come is, is the waves. Because we can't really deal with the waves. Our tears are that bad. And Super Meat Boy is, like, not going to deal with the waves. All right, well, that wasn't so bad. Uh, and we actually were dodging purple and silver tears as that was happening, which is pretty good. And then some more came our way. We can't even, like, deal with the flies. Like, that's 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 bad. That's when you know you're in a rough spot. I wouldn't have gotten hit there if I didn't have to dodge the stupid-ass flies. Bruh. Oh my god, I like stared at that. Power. 
No, I thought I was in a perfect position. We're not, this isn't gonna happen, boys. All those red tears now? What? What the fuck is going on right now? Okay, Super Meat Boy, you gotta get in there. Oh no, Super Meat Boy, please. Please! Super Meat Boy being over here is so bad. It's so bad. And now these side tiers are gonna end me? No! There's no red hearts on the ground, I don't think. They're coming from the other way! Oh God. I can't even right now. I can't even right now. Oh my god, he was so fucking close. Oh, that hurts so bad. Oh, we had it, boys. We had it. He was... Oh, if we got past that, past that little wave there, he had his waves coming out. His head would have been up. Super Meat Boy was locked in. I had a couple more bombs to drop. Oh, that really hurts. That stings. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Oh, this is definitely challenging. The destination mod with a, you know, a couple more mods on top of it. A Maggie run that really never took off. Uh, the tier rate was just mediocre. The damage was 4.8. This late in the game against Hush is, is never really good. Uh, we did have Super Meat Boy level 4, we just couldn't pull it out. Hope you guys enjoyed, like I said. If you did, feel free to leave a like, helps me out a ton. Make sure you check out these two videos listed down below, and hit the W in the middle of the screen to subscribe for more daily Isaac content, and thank you guys, and until next time, stay safe, stay up, peace out.